We're joined by Dr. Dorina Biko, mm -hmm. who's a, a member of a faculty at the Africa Center for Strategic Studies, working on conflict uh, management, prevention, and resolution. Dr. Biko, uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Now, uh, <clears throat> we're going to, to discuss Burkina Faso, um, you know, to go over, you know, just a few, a few questions mm -hmm. about what's happening uh, in the country. Um, what is going on? In, uh, in Burkina Faso? Well, uh, it looks like there's been a uh, counter coup to the coup that took place in October. Uh, this was led by um, the presidential guard, uh, unlike the October coup, which was really sort of led from below, um, trying to oust Kampuari, and the presidential guard um, essentially uh, wants to sort of stop the progress uh, that's been going on. Um, now, you know, Blaise Compaore was in mm -hmm. office for 27 years. Presidential elections had been planned uh, for uh, October uh, 11th. Mm -hmm. uh, a transition was going on. People were very hopeful that Burkina Faso was now finally moving towards um, transition. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the aims of the, coup, of the coup plotters? What is it they're trying to achieve? Well, from what they've said is uh, that they, they want to put Burkina Faso essentially back on the sort of democratic track. And they are, they're also promising um, transitional um, elections. So they're, they're not saying they want to go you know, back to Blaise Campari. Rather, they stage their coup as a criticism of, of how the interim government was uh, proceeding. Now, these are elements of the presidential guard. Mm -hmm. um, why are they so influential? Um, you know, what kind of role have they played in the political process? Well, they're influential uh, because they are better trained. They're about 1,300 strong. They're better trained. They um, have, you know, access to weapons. They are privileged. They were in a privileged position, or were in a privileged position, with Blaise Campoire, and even with his departure, um, they were uh, privileged in the sense that there was a lot of attention um, placed on them. And the um, interim government um, sought, from really the very beginning, from the October two thousand and fourteen um, coup, uh, to eliminate them or to dissolve, you know, dissolve their, their, their ranks, um, both outright calling for their dissolution, as well as um, just earlier this week, their, the reform committee looking into a number of these, these issues came out with the recommendation that the presidential guard be dissolved. Um, so this was, you can see this as a, as existential question, you know, for the, the, um, the presidential guard. So an existential um, issue for the presidential guard mm -hmm. sounds very serious. Um, what needs to happen, uh, you know, from this point on, moving forward, uh, to restore the transition that essentially was in effect in uh, Burkina Faso? Well, a couple of things. One is the president, the prime minister, and the two other um, ministers that have, are being held hostage need to be released. Um, so negotiations need to take place uh, on that end. It's clear from the opposition side that they are not going to tolerate the presidential guard in its current form. Um, but at the same time, we also see from the events in the last couple of days what the presidential guard is capable of. And so I think perhaps a, another question going forward is how can a negotiation be structured such that the presidential guard doesn't play the role that it used to play, but doesn't pose this type of threat to the state. Uh, because at, at what we've seen now is that it is capable of posing that, that threat to the state. So, you know, very uh, serious uh, situation mm -hmm. indeed. Well, uh, Dr. Biko, thank you very much. Uh, this is definitely an issue that we're going to keep um, looking at. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, we hope we'll be able to invite you back. Thank you. Uh, to, you know, update us about that situation. In Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.